arrived in Paris, 37 degrees, and we are heading to the Tour de France. It's 6 a.m. on July the 25th, and we are about to go to stage 18 of the Tour de France 2019. Really excited to be invited. We've been fans of the Tour de France since 2009 when me and Nicky cycled from Madrid to Barcelona. We started watching it, we watched it every single year since. So this is gonna be a real amazing experience for us to go inside behind the scenes of what it's like um, on the tour. Now, I'll be honest with you, this is my first ever experience of being on a private jet and it's pretty mad, it's tiny. It's yes. about two, four, it's 12 seats. Um, well that was an experience, my first time on a private jet, we had a one hour flight from Paris to Grenoble, we're now about to get a helicopter up to the mountain stage. Amazing way to travel. We've done it. I've only ever gone on the um, helicopter once in New York, which was a bit scary. I didn't enjoy it, but that was so incredible. Flying over the Alps, beautiful morning, clear skies, nice cruisy speed. Um, that was an amazing way to see a country. What an incredible thing. We saw those lovely prints that people make on the ground celebrating the Tour de France. It's amazing. What a way to travel! So we've just had the amazing helicopter ride, and we've arrived at the Tour de France village. So there's lots of sponsors, loads of pop-ups. We've got food, drinks. There's some jerseys over there. I'm gonna look around for a couple of freebies, hopefully get a couple of um, souvenirs. The music's pumping, everyone's getting buzzing. It's a real good energy. And the race is gonna probably kick off in a couple of hours time. So we're now gonna go into the riders paddock to meet some of the riders. I'm hoping to meet Geraint Thomas, who if he wins today and takes the lead, he could get the yellow jersey. We just met Christophe, who's going to be our, um, our chaperone for the day, and he's ridden in, is it five Tour de France's? Um, five Tour de France's, he's won a few stages in certain races, so he's a real legend, and he actually rode in the 2009 one, which is the first time I watched it. The bit I'm most looking forward to today is actually being in the car and driving the route and seeing what it's really like, the bends, the turns, the inclines, being in that car and driving the route is going to put me in the kind of perspective of what it's like as a rider, and I'm going to kind of have a massive, probably way more respect than I've even got for them now. Mate, I love seeing all the bikes. I just got my um, my first proper like road bike. I got a Pinarello Dogma, which is like a dream bike. But seeing all these team bikes there, the proper these are like the uh, the Rolls Royce sports cars. These are like the absolute you know much nuts. <laughs> Voilà, et, et Jonathan, c'est gentiment arrêté à, à nos côtés, l'homme qui avait représenté l'Espagne. Vous êtes au cœur de. Wow, André, 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 There it is, there's the start of stage 18 of the Tour de France. We're heading to the car now. We're gonna be in the, basically between the breakaway and the the peloton. So we're gonna be like in a really good spot, right in between the action. Tell me about the atmosphere. Oh, the atmosphere is buzzing. There's hundreds of thousands of people here. It's so hot, I just cannot believe. I'm hot standing in shorts and a t-shirt and they're gonna cycle up here. It's like 35, 40 degree heat. It's phenomenal they do that, they push their bodies to the max. They do it every day for three weeks. I mean, fair play to them. I've watched a lot of Tour de France on TV and you see the helicopters flying over and you see the fans with their signs, they paint the street, they put what you know words on the, on the floor for the riders. But seeing them all line up, there's kids. I mean, they're, they must be sitting out here for a good five or six hours. It just goes to show how much they love the sport and people traveling, you know, they're setting up tents, they've got their caravans, they're parking up their RVs. It's a proper, proper event for these people. So we, we, I feel very lucky to be here doing it in such a nice way, being on the actual track. You know, being on the floor. Woo! 
Here they come. So we're just ahead of the Peloton. There they are, they're caught up. And they are going for it, mate, up this hill. Like the crowds are getting much denser. Oh, here we are, so we're. This, oh, that was a climb, that was a climb. That was a climb. We're now around 25 minutes from the finish to the Tour de France stage 18. The atmosphere is incredible up here. All the fans are here, they're playing music. It's been so incredible being in that car. On the way down, the ride is hitting about 80, 90 kilometers per hour. It's so fast, it feels super sick, right weaving in and out of the traffic. And um, now we're just gonna wait for the riders to come, then we're gonna hit the finish line and um, hopefully see them come over the line. So we have no idea who's in the lead yet. Right, let's go, we're hitting the finish line, let's do it. The lounge up there and watch it on the screens, but apparently Garrett Thomas has just attacked on the climb and he's taken 15 seconds off the leader, so this is exciting, this is where it all kicks off. Wow, what an experience, stage 18 of the Tour de France. I feel so, um, you know, so lucky and privileged that I got invited over here been just the dream come true they've taken such good care of us and being in the middle of it in the action I just don't think you could ever see it in such a way and be you know in, in an almost like a rider's eye view of, of the race for the whole time couldn't believe how many people were involved you know there's loads of motorbikes loads of team cars with bikes there's people taking water up to the uh, riders but it's, I think we had such a great stage as well the views were incredible so we began you know really windy zigzaggy mountain stages up and down and um, so the views and the scenery and just seeing all the fans like that's one thing I've, I've, I've really noticed about this is the fans, they're, they're so into it, they're so passionate. I mean, they camp for like two days before the race comes in and they line the whole mountain all the way along the route. They're cheering, clapping, and it gives the, gives the cyclists energy and makes them, you know, pushes them up the hill, I think. We were going down a mountain, descending, at 90 kilometers per hour and one of the bikes just overtook us like it was nothing. So the speeds they're going at, it's super dangerous. I mean, they're going around bends as well and they're, you know, they're cornering in. It's a, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even want to go 20 kilometers now, let alone 90 kilometers now. It's incredible, it's crazy fast. So they've got balls of steel. I mean, their fitness is insane. They're, you know, it's a lot, a lot of strategy involved in Tour de France and, and, and um, peloton riding. But individually, the mindset they need to compete, to train, and turn up and do that every day for three weeks is really quite phenomenal.